Hey guys, Ray Hernandez here. Thanks for checking in. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to go over a few things. Um, the importance of a fanny pack. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So uh, keep your family safe. Now, I wanted to put out this video. I purposely didn't want to title it Situational Awareness just because uh, some people might get turned away by that. Uh, what I'm really trying to target here is, uh, you know, the private citizen, you know, everyday individual um, that's just going about their business, you know, no military law enforcement background. This is for the everyday individual that is, you know, a law abiding citizen uh, that just wants to keep their family safe. Because essentially, I think that's what majority of us have in common is that we all have obviously uh, loved ones that we care for or whatnot. So this is a, a real basic, just fundamentals, uh, you know, my top three. Obviously, this is not an all inclusive list. This is just something to build off of, if you will. Um, but anyways, yeah. So first and foremost is baseline. So what do I mean by baseline? Now, baseline is you walking out to the front of your house, to your front yard. If you look left down the street, you look right down the street, um, you're going to recognize uh, your neighbor's vehicles, your neighbor's, uh, you know, uh, certain times, uh, you know, the, tr the trash day or whatever it is. You're going to see the regular activity at certain times, especially if you lived there for quite some time. Um, you're more than likely going to notice these things. So this is your baseline. This means this is the normal everyday activity. Now, that's what you want to identify first in any situation that you go. What is the normal? You know, what is um, the, the, like I said, the, the, the usual activity or the everyday mundane stuff? Uh, for example, you go to Starbucks, if you guys have ever been to Starbucks or any type of, you know, donut shop or coffee place, whatever establishment, you go in there, what are you usually going to find? You know, you're going to see baristas behind the register. You're going to see people on their laptops, people ordering coffee or whatever have you. So that's your baseline. So you could, you know, establish that uh, any environment that you go to. Now, second thing we want to look out for or, you know, in a sense, being situationally, situationally aware. Our second thing would be any anomalies. So anomalies would be anything that's out of the ordinary from your baseline. So you go out to your front yard. And you happen to see, you know, a vehicle down the street that you've never seen before. Uh, let's say for this situation, you know, you happen to see it looks like a, a dark colored van. Never seen this van there before. Um, looks like somebody's inside smoking a cigarette. And you could tell they're smoking a cigarette because they're literally, you see the smoke and they're putting their arm out the window. Um, now... Does that by itself constitute any type of illegal or, you know, suspicious activity? Not necessarily by itself, but like I said, it's out of the ordinary. It's out of your baseline. So baseline is what's normal. That van, you've never seen it before. Um, the point is, is that it's an anomaly. It's something that should pique your interest and be like, hmm, that's interesting. Make note of it. Unknown vehicle. Like I said, by itself doesn't mean anything. Not necessarily, but you should notice it. You should be aware of it. Uh, if it's four o'clock in the morning because you happen, let's say, to work early and you have to do an early commute or whatever it is, um, and you see the van out there with somebody smoking, you should definitely be aware because given the time of day, nobody else is around, what are they doing? So anyways, that would be an anomaly. Now, like I said, by itself, does it mean anything? Not necessarily. But let's suppose that um, that same van uh, let's say you go about your business, take out the trash, you come back out maybe within five, 10 minutes. Now you see that the van is backed into, let's say, uh, a neighbor's uh, driveway. Now, you know that neighbor and you actually happen to know that they're out of town. So now it's like, bing, you know, that should pique your, you know, interest or suspicion radar, whatever you want to call it. But like I said, now we're thinking like, hmm, okay, this is odd. Now, let's suppose, for example, if you happen to know that neighbor, let's say that you give him a call, you text him, be like, hey, uh, you know, Joe, just FYI, uh, do you, are you, you, you guys are still out of town, right? You're out and like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're out of town. Okay. By any chance, are you getting any work done or anything? Is anyone supposed to be at your house? And he's like, no, nobody's there. He's like, oh, okay, there's this uh, black van that just, you know, pulled into your driveway. So we just kind of saw it. We've never seen them before. You know, so now, now, like I said, if he says, Joe says, like, no, we're not supposed to have anybody over. Now it's like, ding, 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 ding. You know, now your suspicion radar should go off. Like I said, so we said baseline. What's normal? 
like I said, anomaly. The anomaly was the van. By itself, does mean anything? Not necessarily. Like I said, that van backing into a driveway. And obviously, this is all hypothetical or theoretical if you know your neighbors or whatever have you. But you could apply this to any situation. So with that, with that scenario uh, that we put out there, um, alarms and bells should be going off. What can we do? Now, third part to situational awareness is your gut feeling. If something tells you, hey, this is weird, this is off, listen to that, you know, sixth or even seventh sense, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, your gut feeling. A lot of the times, um, people that have been in situations, unfortunately, um, they usually give accounts or in interviews or, you know, just after the fact, a lot of them have a consistent I don't want to say necessarily a message, but if you kind of dissect it, a lot of them have the similar situation where they discuss like, ah, you know what? I had a bad feeling. I knew something was about to happen. It's like, but I didn't want to seem weird. A lot of them have this intuition. And the thing is that our brain is an, an amazing thing. Our brain is processing, you know, billions, if not, you know, whatever, trillions of uh, pieces of information, maybe not trillions, but anyways, I'm not a science guy, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. Your, your brain is processing a bunch of information, bits and pieces of information that your subconscious may pick up, but your conscious not fully aware, and it may be tugging at your, hey, this isn't right, something feels off. You listen to that instinct, because like I said, those are the things that can potentially save your family's life or save your life or at the very least avoid a potential situation that you might get in, um, a potential hazard, potential danger, or whatever it is. But anyways, I'm really trying to, you know, keep this video as short as possible and trying to get the message out. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not used to the mic being in front of me, so I keep, you know, I talk a lot with my hands. Anywho, might not like this after all. So whatever. Anywho, moving on. Where was I? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah gut feeling six cents um listen to that don't disregard it it can save your life it could potentially save your life and potentially save your family's life or at the very least avoid any potential hazards or dangers or whatever have you okay other than that my given um obviously if we know the baseline we show up to starbucks everything's you know normal you have the barista uh you know in the back counter you have people on their laptops or whatnot um the anomaly you know you show up and there's absolutely no one inside of starbucks and it's dead quiet that's kind of strange that would be an anomaly that's out of the ordinary now by itself is it a threat does it mean anything mm, maybe not necessarily you know uh but like i said it would thing just kind of bring my ears up and just kind of be more aware of what's going on if i start to see other factors that are strange or whatever it is or i start getting some sort of weird feeling be like you know what i'm gonna step outside real quick i could go to another starbucks or you know what i don't need coffee for the day anyways um hypothetical situation but like i said just an example uh lastly like i said the given would be a plan of action as a given you should always have a plan of action or you know play the what if game uh, what, what would we do if this happens? What would we do if that happens? I think if you guys have followed me or we've worked together or trained before, I'm big on that. I'm big on, you know, what would we do if someone just, you know, tried to break into the, you know, into the, the, our room or into our home or whatever it is? What would we do if, uh, you know, we showed up to Starbucks and we see a killer clown behind the register? Obviously, that's an extreme uh, uh, hypothesis or an uh, example. But like I said, the what if game. Uh, building... Uh, that plan of action. Um, going back to our situation where you stepped outside, baseline, you know, everything around your neighborhood, you see the anomaly, the unknown van, and then you start seeing those weird, act, that weird activity. Call Joe and Joe says, yeah, no one's supposed to be there. What's your plan of action now? Are you going to go over there and, you know, grab the guys, tell them to get out of there? More than likely not, in my opinion, or you can maybe just stand in the middle of the street and just look that way. That might be a deterrence in itself. You go ahead and call your local law enforcement agency, wherever that may be, and have them go check it out. But, like I said, plan of action. So, recap. Situational awareness. What are we looking for? We're not going to get into deep, deep detail, but we want to create that baseline. What's the usual activity for this area? Let's say if you've been 
somewhere before. Obviously, you may not know everywhere, but you could pick up on what's normal. If you go to Walmart every so often, you know what's normal at Walmart. If you go to Target, you know what's normal at Target. Um, outside your neighborhood, school, wherever you go, there should be a baseline of what's normal, what's not normal. Um, anomalies. Anomalies. Let's say it's a super hot day and everybody's wearing short shorts, tank tops, and whatnot, and you see a guy wearing a long black trench coat, heavy coat with a hood, you know, covering his face, his or her face. That would be an anomaly. That would be something that, hey, you know what, Boom, perk up your interest and keep an eye on that guy or that person, whoever they may be. And then also gut feeling. Don't disregard your intuition. A lot of the times it's, you know, trying to tug on you, giving you a warning sign. Um, like I said, your brain's processing a lot of information that you not might be conscious about, but you don't disregard your gut feeling. Other than that, guys, like I said, I wanted to keep this video short. It's, a, it's kind of a lot of information trying to pack into something small, especially, uh, like I said, for some of those that have not really put a lot of thought into it, have not really, you know, have done this for a living or whatever it is. It's something that I believe uh, very strongly, especially right now with a lot of the things that are going on, um, not only in the state, but around the country and around the world. It is imperative that, you know, we start taking personal responsibility for our own safety and our own security. I won't go off on our rant too much on this video, maybe on the next one, but anyways, uh, I want you guys to be safe. I want you to keep your family safe, your loved ones safe, and I want you guys to practice this. Other than that, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and DM me um, or comment down below. Side of that, guys. Thank you, appreciate you, stay safe. What you gonna do tonight, man? We wanna see your girl? No, I'm gonna see my girl. You going on with this part. Take your ass home and watch some videos. Been home with your mama, that's where I was. <laughs> <laughs> Man, check that motherfucker out.